Okay, let's do some math for fun. This question is actually on the cover of a high school math book in Hungary, as you guys can see from the screenshot right here. So I think it's really cool. And I really appreciate this kind of things that when they put a really nice question on the cover of a math book instead of apple oranges. So I really like this. Anyway, we'll see how to differentiate this right here, all right? First of all, notice that we have sine x, y, and I believe both of the x, y are inside of the sine. So let me just give them a parentheses right here. And you see, we have a function to a function power. Therefore, to differentiate this, we can just take the natural log on both sides first. So that we can bring the power to the front, but do not minus 1 because this is just a natural log property, okay? So we have natural log of y, and that's equal to x times ln of sine of x, y, like this. And then we can do implicit differentiation to find dy dx from here. So here we go. I'll just put on d dx for the whole thing right here. On the left hand side, the derivative of L and Y is first we get 1 over Y and then use the chain Lu. Use the chain Lu! The derivative of Y is technically dy dx because we are taking the derivative with respect to x. And on the right hand side, notice that we have a product, so we have to use the product rule. So first, I keep the first function and we multiply by the derivative of the second. This is Ln of something, so we first get 1 over this, which is sine of x, y on the bottom, and then use the chain rule again, multiply by the derivative of this. The derivative sine is cosine, so we have cosine, and the input stays the same right here. And yes, we have to use the chain rule one more time, because inside of this right here is x times y. We have to find the derivative right here as well. And this is x times y, so yes, we have to use the product rule here. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to keep the first function, which is x, and then multiply by the derivative of the second. The derivative of y is the dy dx. And then we add the second function, which is y, and times the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is just 1. So that's the first part. And then we have to go add this with the second function here, and just write that down real quick. ln of sine of x, y. Then multiply by the derivative of the first. The derivative of x is just 1. So multiply by 1, like that. So that's pretty much it. And then the rest of the things is just that we are going to isolate dy dx. And seriously, that's it. So perhaps this is what we are going to do. This right here, we have cosine over sine, and the input is the same. So we can write it as cotangent. So that's good. And notice that we have the y right here. So perhaps let's just multiply everybody by y. So take y, multiply by that, we get dy dx on the left-hand side. And that's equal to, we have x right here, and then we have this y right here. And this over that is cotangent, so I'll put down cotangent, and we have the x, y like this. And then let me just keep these parentheses. We have x dy dx plus y times 1, just y, and then for the rest, it's just this times that, which is plus y times ln of sine of x, y, like that, okay? Now, you see here we have the dy dx, it's inside of the parentheses. So what we are going to do is, we are going to take this times that, and we also have the dy dx on the left hand side. So I will bring that to the left hand side, and check this out. I'm going to put a parentheses first, and this is a 1, so I'll put that down and I'm going to factor the dy dx at the end of the parentheses. So when you multiply this and that, and bring that to the other side, it becomes negative, and we have xx, which is x squared, and then we have the y, and we have the cotangent xy, like this. And I will factor out the dy dx and put that at the end, like so. Okay? And the rest of the stuff are just going to be on the right-hand side. So we see this times that, we have x, and y times y is, of course, y squared, and then we have cotangent x, y. Yeah, and then for this, it's just plus y times ln of sine of x, y. And in the end, we can just nicely divide this on both sides, and we can get our nice answer. So finally, we see dy dx is equal to all this. You just write it down again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we have this. And then divided by all that on the bottom now. So that's it.
and it's a pretty cool question. And I seriously appreciate that when they have a really nice question on the cover of the math book. And that will make me want to buy the math book, actually. It.